So what we're going to do today is we are going to learn how to shade a sphere. So the first step you're going to need is you're going to need a pencil, not a mechanical pencil, a regular old fashioned drawing pencil. That way you can get some shading and it's way, way better, trust me. So don't ever use these to draw. So that's going to go to the side. Um, you don't have to trace a perfect circle. But, I don't know, I just do because I guess it saves me a little bit of time. I'm not really concerned about what your circle looks like. What I'm more concerned about is how you shade. So, draw a circle on here. It's a pretty bad tracing job. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so there's my circle. What I'm going to do first is, what the whole point of shading is, is it creates value. And the whole point is because when you have a sphere, there is always some sort of light hitting it. Now, when light hits things, it creates a shadow. So what we're gonna pretend like, don't draw this on your own papers, but let's pretend like the sunlight is coming from right here. So this is the sun. Sunlight's coming from over here, okay? This part is gonna be lighter because the sun's hitting it. And because the sun is hitting it right here, it's going to cast a shadow over here. It's going to make it dark here and then cast a shadow. So what I always do first is I start in the darkest area. So remember, like we always talk about in class, I'm going to create this sphere using a full value range, meaning I'm going to have the darkest dark and the lightest light of the paper showing. Now, one thing you'll notice where a lot of people go wrong when they're doing this is, okay, so here's your sphere. What they do is they shade up and down or side to side. The circle is not, well it is flat, but you don't want it to look flat. Spheres are shaped like this, so you're gonna go with the curve of that circle, okay? You don't want to shade side to side or up and down or else you're gonna be, you're definitely gonna, without a doubt, end up with a flat circle and we want shaded spheres. So, I'm gonna, push this value. When I say push a value, that means push it darker. So if I ever come up to you and say you need to push your values, that means you need to darken it up. You're drawing too light. So now I'm going to start lightening. Now how I do that is by I'm not pushing down as hard on my pencil. So to shade lighter, you push down not as hard on your pencil. Come around. Notice I'm still shading according to the shape of the sphere. I'm not shading back and forth or up and down. Notice I'm also holding my pencil down at the end. So when you shade, you want to hold it at the end because you're going to get a much smoother shade. If I try to shade like this, I'm going to end up with that. If I try to shade like this, it's going to be much smoother and more realistic looking. I'm holding it at the end. I'm holding it on its side. I'm shading. Here I'm going to start creating where the highlight's going to go. So the highlight's going to go right here. Now let me say, I realize that shading spheres is not the most fun thing in the world to draw, but shading spheres, learning how to do this basic shading will completely transform the way you draw. It is a necessity to becoming a good artist. This is like the foundation to what you need to know. So that's why I'm having you do this. Not because I want to make you do something you don't want to do, but because this will really, really help you draw. So I want you to take these seriously. I know it's just a practice exercise, but it is very, very important. And if you work hard on these exercises, you will see a huge change on what your actual projects look like. So we're getting there now. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take an eraser. Or, oh, bird's tweeting over there. <laughs> She's not happy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take an eraser. Erasers are great drawing tools. I'm going to erase out that highlight. What I'm going to do is I'm barely touching. I'm more just dragging along my paper. I'm going to take this to very slightly, very slightly, slightly <laughs> blend this together. I think I've already probably told you a zillion times in class, but I'm not a big fan of using your finger to blend or a Kleenex. If you use your eraser, you'll get a much more realistic look. 
Oh, I don't know how that happened. Okay. So, it's a pretty good start. Now you'll notice my, my edge is a little bit funky in some areas. So what I like to come back and do is I can either erase that out or add on to it and just crispen it up. But I want nice, clean edges, nice and quality art. Oh. Okay, next, what I'm gonna do is it needs a shadow. But I don't know how I got there. Okay, next what it needs is a shadow. So how you do that, if the sun is coming from this way, it's gonna create a shadow here. So, your shadow is gonna be really, really dark. And there's not like a set length to your shadow because it's going to totally depend on the time of day that the sun would be hitting. Sometimes a day your shadow is longer, sometimes it's not quite as long. So that's not necessarily what I'm looking for, but there definitely needs to be a shadow because wherever there is light, there's going to be a shadow cast. So it's gonna come around just a little bit in the front, like so. And I would say that is pretty good. That would be an excellent sphere and you would be ready to go on to your first drawing if you brought this sphere to me. So I want you to strive for this quality. Some of you are gonna get this your first shot. Some of you are going to take, you might have to do three spheres and that is not a bad thing. It doesn't make you not as good of an artist. That just means some of us need a little bit more practice because we all come from different starting points. So if I do ask you to redo your sphere, please don't feel bad. It's nothing bad about you. It's just I want you to make sure you have mastered this basic technique before you move on to the harder stuff. So good luck and I will see you in class. How did you do today? All kinds of them. <laughs>